Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this Azure DevOps tutorial series today let's discuss about what are self hosted agents all right so in our previous video we discussed about what are microsoft hosted agent and how do you actually work with it all right so continuing with that we'll see what are self hosted agents and why do you actually need self hosted agents and all right so why do you need a self hosted agent is like in most of the cases microsoft hosted agents might be more than enough for you in real time but in some cases what might happen is you might have some demands okay so you might have some specific requirements that suit your project needs so in those kind of situations you uh, you are in a need to host a self hosted agent so that you can set up the environment accordingly um, you can set up the environment based on your needs all right so that's one of the main reason why you go for a self hosted uh, agent which would actually suit your need all right so let's see what how what are self uh, agent self hosted agents and where do we configure that in our uh, should develop site and all all right currently now i am in my uh, organization page so if i go to organization settings as usual you can find the agent pools here so under agent pools by default you have two things like one you one we have azure pipelines which is the microsoft hosted one and next we have something called default okay default also you can use and configure based on your needs uh, like we have something called agents by default you will have this agent uh, in your default agent pool but you know if if you want to create something you know very specific what you can do is you can actually go here and create a pool like you can call it as a self hosted agent pool and give it some name say um let me call it as sh1 for simplicity self hosted agent all right so let me create this so now my uh, self and my agent pool is created okay so how do i create an agent if i go to the agents tab inside uh, my agent pool you can see currently we don't have anything it is uh, suggesting us to add our first agent all right you can click on this new agent button here or you can click it here now you have a, s a series of steps that you need to follow to configure an agent for windows you have some steps mac linux and all you have few steps and for now we we are going to going to go ahead with windows alone all right so you have couple of options here one is for the 64 and um, 64 bit machine and another for 32 bit machine based on your uh system requirements you can choose the option you want for now i am going ahead with 64 bit um so first thing you need to do is download the agent all right so click on this download button so as soon as you click there will be a, a rare file which will be a, a zip file which will be downloaded for you okay once the download is done what you can do is you can unzip it and uh, you can either create an agent or you can follow the steps that i'm going to do further Okay, so I'm just waiting for the downloads to complete. Let me go to downloads. Let me just give it a moment. So once this download is uh, completed, what you can do is you can place it under C folder. Like, uh, yeah. Now let me cut this for simplicity. The best option is to actually create a folder called agents under C. um sometimes when you place it under different folders or downloads it might not work properly so it is always suggested to actually create a folder in the c drive and you can keep it as agents and inside that you can paste it okay now you can unzip it we can extract here so right right now once the once you extracted i will remove this you can see on inside my vsts agent folder i have something called config.command you can run this so once you run this it is asking us to enter the server url all right let me try to copy that so this is my project server url let me go and enter that here first 
it is asking you to enter the authentication type like there are few authentication types that is present in azure pipeline if you need more information about it you can go to uh, the page uh, uh, with regards to self hosted agents where you can find very detailed information about uh, what are self hosted agent how and how do you deal with all those things all right for now do not worry this might be a little confusing uh, we'll see one by one uh, with with detailed steps which will be more than enough for you to understand how self hosted agent works okay so you, you have three types of authentication mechanism here right one is personal access token device flow device code flow service principle okay for now do not worry about all these things since i'm going to use a personal access token i'm going to hit enter so it is asking me to create a enter a personal access token most of the times you might not have if you are doing it for the first time you might not have a pad created so in that situation you can go to your uh, settings and right under your uh, organization and you can create a personal access token under security you have you'll have a folder called you'll have a option called personal access token you can select this once you select this you can see i have already created this one uh, in in case if you want to create a new one you can create a new token and just uh, create a new pat and make a note of the pat key all right so once you, once you create that you will lose that key so make sure you copy that key and keep that somewhere safe all right so now i'm going to my actual step so now i need to enter my pat i have copied it for my reference here it is now it is trying to connect the server so if you have an um, uh, like if you want to move go ahead with the default agent pool you can pr press enter as it is we had an option called default right so if you want to go with default you can here i am right so if you want to go ahead with the default you can just press enter by default uh, by default it will take the default option all right so and in case if you want to try it with a different self hosted agent then you can enter this agent pool name in my case it is sh1 so i'm entering sh1 and you can also enter an agent name okay press enter for bcp blah 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 all right so this is a default agent uh, name that will be created for you in case if you want to create something for your purpose let's me let me call it as agent one okay it may take a moment to actually scan our system for the capabilities okay so enter the work folder in case if you want to organize it uh, you can give few, there are few other options to explore but for now i'm just uh, gonna work with work in the default folder so i'm gonna press enter and enter the run enter the run agent as a service yes enable service sit type yes okay do not worry about all these things for now just give yes right once done now you can go to your self hosted agent yes h1 and now under agents you can see i have created an agent one right so now it is present here initially my agent was empty now i have created a new agent here all right um, so once this is done in order to verify you need to actually go into your pipeline section all right so once uh, you go into your pipeline section uh, let me take a classic demo classic pipeline for an example let me edit it so when you run in um, pipeline all right the series of steps all right or jobs will run on sequence on an agent pool all right so in our previous video we discussed about microsoft hosted agent which is azure pipelines right so now you can see you will have another option called default and sh1 right so these are the self hosted agents that you have created for your purpose so these are a couple of agent pools one is default and sh1 so you can select your agent pool here and save it and run it all right so as simple as that initially we did not add this agent a pool like self hosted agent but you can create your self hosted agent as per your requirement and then you can use that in your pipeline all right so this is how you will create 
self hosted agent and implement that in your actual pipeline all right so here i saw i gave you an very simple example about how you can view your self hosted agent in the classic pipeline but in our next video let's see how we can use that self hosted agent in my in yaml pipeline all right that might take some steps so i'm gonna make it as a separate video um so i hope you found this video useful and in case if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section if you are new to my channel i would request you to subscribe and watch my channel in case if you like if you like my job and whatever i am posting here in youtube and if you want to appreciate me more i would suggest you to i would request you to actually provide me with a super thanks if you are not sure what super thanks is you can go to any of my video and you can select uh, the three dots at the right hand side and click on super uh, click on thanks and here you can select the amount of your choice and um, buy and send okay as simple as that all right so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you